Okay, and finally, this sign here. It says Washington on the Brazos, this village, site of the signing of the Texas Declaration of Independence and First Capital of the Republic of Texas began in 1822 as a ferry crossing. Here, the historic La Bahia Road, now Ferry Street, spanned the Brazos River. In 1834, a town site was laid out and named probably for Washington, Georgia, home of the leading settler. In 1835, as political differences with Mexico led toward war, the General Council, the insurgent Texas government, met in the town. The enterprising citizens then promoted the peace, or the place, excuse me, as a site for the convention of 1836 and as a bonus provided a free meeting hall. Thus, Texas Declaration of Independence came to be signed in an unfinished building owned by a gunsmith. The provisional government of the Republic was also organized in Washington, but was removed March 17th as news of the advancing Mexican army caused a general panic throughout the region. The townspeople fled too on March 20, 1836 in the runaway scrape. After the Texan victory at San Jacinto, the town thrived for a period. It was again capital of Texas, 1842-1845, and became center of Washington State Park, 1916. It now contains historic buildings and Barrington home of Anson Jones, the last president of Texas. Here we are at Washington on the Brazos. You see this is Independence Hall. A little bit to the left of your screen there. And you see what that says. And so, let's pan up and see a little bit of the building here. The tree. This is not the original building. This was actually rebuilt. Because the other one I believe burned down and uh, so they made this recreation and you can see it sitting there nice and shady with the sun behind it now let's go ahead and approach it and see this is the path you walk up and straight ahead in that white building down through there if that's coming through is the uh, visitor center so you walk up this way, right up this path, and the building is right behind us and the sign we just filmed is to our left. All right, now here's the path. We're in the same position, just turned around. You can see that goes on out through there. To the right is a river, actually, and the building's to the left. So you can see that there. One window on this side, three windows inside. That's the whole building. We pan up again to see the rest of it. A little jumpy. But that's the whole building there. And now let's go look through the front door. Oh, here we are, appearing through the front door. You can see there's a couple of steps that goes up into it. And then that sun is coming way over on the, the right there pretty shiny so let's go on up and get closer to the now door here's now. the steps that you step up into and then we just go right on up into the building there that you can see so let's step on inside and let's do some history together. okay we've just stepped into the door and in front of us you can see there are three tables they're put together as one with some old chairs now let's go from left to right here. So I will start over to the left and then we'll go straight ahead and to the left is the window we saw from the outside. You can see there's chairs lined up against the wall as it would have been back then. The 1836 time frame. And then again, you can see one window back there in the back. And there's the table, there's a door back there. Now over there on this wall to the right, we have more chairs. A little desk down there in the, in the back right, far right corner. And then let me pick this up a little bit. And you can see the three windows over here. A couple benches. And just the remainder of the wall. And from what they say, this is pretty much exactly what the building looked like. If you noticed, and maybe you can't, um, see if I can darken this down, but there are just curtains in the window. See, there you can see outside. The building's really dark, but now, yeah, you can see the curtains now. You see them hanging there. And that's exactly what it was. And on that March day that they were here, well, March days, uh, 
it was uh, it was quite blustery, quite cold, snowy, everything. So it was really bad. Um, so it was very cold in this building, and uh, not a good situation. But anyway, lighten this thing back up. Let's see. Then if we look up here, these are just the ceiling rafters you can see. It just goes straight through and looks all the way up. So, so that's that. And then let's take some of that light back out that I had to add. And there it is. Okay, now I've come through the, to the other end of the building. You can see this door right here. And right there is a little desk with a little chair. And there's more the chairs there on the, our now left-hand side. We've been our right-hand side from earlier. And there's the windows again. Here, I'll darken this down for you just so you can see outside and see the curtains flowing in the wind. Get it really dark in there. You can really see them. And then lighten this back up so we can see here. And then you can see the table in this end. There's a barrel down there underneath, holding it up. Pretty fancy shindigs, huh? And then of course right back over here, look at all these chairs against the wall. And then the window here and the curtain is blowing up there. As you can see. So this is the Texas Independence Hall where the birth of Texas was beginning with the writing of her constitution. I think it's pretty awesome. I hope you do as well and you can see I just want to get this dark so you can see through the door and see outside and through the window and see that it's a beautiful day today. And so that is the Texas Hall of Independence. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed bringing it to you. Okay, you see this little monument out here by the corner of the building. And we'll get closer to that and read what it says. I thought you might want to see that. Okay, what this actually says is erected by the school children of Washington County, Texas, July 4th, 1899 so that's what that says right in front of it boy that's really hard we can't read this but right here this says here a nation was born so right now on this side of it it says on this spot was made the declaration of texas independence march 2nd 1836 okay now this one is a little bit tough to read as well but on it it says the necessity of self-preservation therefore now decrees our eternal political separation. And boy, is that more poignant even today than it was then. All right, then here is the whole building from the right-hand side. You can see, and I washed out on this side, a little dark on that side, but let me go ahead and even it out a little bit. Gives you a better look and feel, I think. You can see the monument that we just read. And of course the outside of it, you can see the foundation of it over there, all stone, rock. Uh, so we'll get a little... And here it is looking at it from the back side, up to the front there on the left. And then you can see also the monument up there to the far left. And so that is the Texas Hall of Independence, Washington on the Brazos. Today is November the 9th, 2012. And so, I hope you've enjoyed this outside tour. Okay, we're gonna walk a little bit of a trail here. Just wanted to show you down to the left. Uh, I'm gonna have to go a little more. So you can see the, the building down there, that's the visitor center. Parking lot straight ahead. You can see that's the convention hall there. It's right there. And then, Store and restaurant.
restaurant there in the front. And there's just a few houses over there. And that's really the town. I mean, there's really nothing to it. Now, you see, there's the building. 